thousands of Spring Hill auto workers hit the picket line. Good evening, I'm Emily Luxon. Instead of going to work inside the General Motors facility, UAW members picketed outside the plant. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald looks at what happens next. There's been a lot of anticipation. Y'all doing all right? Strategic strikes by the United Auto Workers Union finally hit home this weekend. Union members at General Motors Spring Hill plant were told to put down their tools Saturday afternoon. We've been antsy for the last four weeks. We're ready to join our brothers and sisters. Some with signs, some with their own children. He's out here supporting his dad and his, uh, our family. All in the local union are gearing up to take shifts on the picket line for however long negotiations with GM take. On three. One, two, three, Sunday! For several weeks, the UAW has been fighting with each of the big three automakers for a new contract. Little by little, the union has expanded its strike, even after reaching tentative agreements with both Ford and Chrysler owner Stellantis. Instead of playing checkers, we're in a chess game, in my opinion, and I like the strategy, and, it, and it's working. This strike affects an entire community. A local union leader told me he received more than 170 text messages when the walkout was announced. <laughs> Roughly 3,200 people walked off the job. <laughs> the local union president believes it will be worth it. We're looking long term. I mean, you know, if it's a short strike, it's not going to affect a lot. Long term it could, but you know, the more we make, the better uh, contract we get, we're going to put that back in the economy and it, it's better for the whole middle class, just not the auto workers. And, uh, but I just appreciate all of you. And, and in a surprise call from National UAW President Sean Fain, some motivation for the strikers. We want, we want to get GM to the finish line and, uh, you know, the, the power that you guys have down there, um, you know, with, with Spring Hill is, uh, you know, I'm hoping that's the thing that's going to get us there. Reporting in Spring Hill, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Hannah, thank you. The tentative contract agreements with Ford and Stellantis include things like wage increases, the reinstatement of cost of living adjustments, and the elim elimination of wage tiers.